Cranky now being mocked by her friends at the BBC. Have I Got News For You is not a programme that I watch. In fact, the BBC infuriates me and I hope it's defunded. However, this clip from Have I Got News For You is actually really funny. Take a look at this. But land grab through a series of dodgy referendums in Ukraine. Germany's Olaf Scholz called them a sham. France's Emmanuel Macron called them a tragic parody. And Scotland's Nicola Sturgeon called them a perfectly legitimate attempt to break free from the shackles <laughs> of an oppressive regime. Now, I realise this isn't BBC Scotland, per se. Nevertheless, it is the BBC. A BBC that will do anything to cause trouble, to try to break up this country, to try to get anything remotely conservative out and get anything woke in. To try and save their own skins, of course, with regards to the licence fee. For me, the joke is actually very, very good. I don't often find things funny on the BBC at all. But you could make some small similarities. We've taken the war out of it completely, by the way. Take some small similarities between the referendums that Putin's holding and the neverendums that Cranky continuously wants to hold. I hope she's seen this clip and I bet she cringes. I bet she thinks, oh my god, I'm being mocked from every corner. I'm being forced to love the monarchy. I am being forced to say I would keep the currency. I am being forced to say I would keep the monarchy. The polls in favour of independence are down. My personal um, approval ratings are down. My party's approval ratings are down. The Labour Party are catching me in the polls in Scotland. What the hell am I going to do? There are billions of pounds stashed away that somebody is going to find if the SNP don't win the next election. That will all be brought to light, of course, after the election when the money and the accounts are gone through with a fine tooth comb. I'm not sure I trust Labour to do that, of course, but maybe the Crown auditors, the government auditors should be in there now having a look for this money, up to 20 billion we're told, that has not been spent. Where is it? But for once, nice one BBC.